Welcome to another episode of Bargain Saturdays, and this week I decided to take a look at The Tale of Despero, I believe. Yeah. Even after just watching the movie, I sometimes forget the main character's name, and just like to go with how I usually pronounce it. But, the real question is, is this movie based off a book any good, and why do I keep hitting up on movies based on books lately anyway? At any rate, as far as it goes, I find the movie rather mixed. On one hand, it has very strong visuals going for it. It's definitely got quality animation. I'm not particularly fond of the aesthetics, but that's on a personal level because I'm not very fond of CGI work to begin with. It's why I can get so annoyed with the Star Wars prequels somewhat because I hate all the CGI being shoved into my face all the time. And with a movie that is done CGI animation, it's definitely going to be in my face because that's how it's done. Don't get me wrong, I can like some of them, but I never really can get into the aesthetics as much as I like. But my lack of um, liking the visuals isn't a argument against the animation itself. Another positive is that it has a main character that doesn't really have to go on a quest to find out who he is. Unlike, say, Balto 2, Wolf Quest, or even the original Balto movie, both of them featured a main character, whether it be Balto or Alu, that had to go on a quest to find out who they were inside. And that was basically the heart of the movie. With Despero, he knows who he is. He's a gentleman, a courageous knight. He upholds a code of honor, and he sticks to it. He's not afraid to be different from the rest of his mouse society. He doesn't conform to the rules or be afraid of everything in existence because he's a courageous knight. He doesn't have to be afraid of everything. This isn't to say that Despero can't experience fear, because we did see this when he went into the rat world, but he has to overcome it. On the downside, I didn't think the movie could fo it was very focused at times. Trying to encompass so many plots from the book, I think, ultimately came to hurt the movie a bit. Uh, trying to cover, basically, a subplot about the royal family, the servant girl, Ross Girl, and Despero all at the same time, and then tie them together, just didn't work as well as I think it could have. Maybe if the movie was longer, it'd have more time to expand on these subplots and make them feel stronger individually, so that when they came together, it'd be a beautiful synergy. But as it is... It's It comes together all right, but some of the individual pieces feel very jarring when you jump to them. Maybe this would work better in a book where you have more natural breaks with chapter endings and stuff. But as a movie, it feels rather odd, because the movie will go from one mood to a completely different mood in almost an instant. It can be a bit jarring at times. Um, but all in all, The Tale Despero is a rather you know mixed movie. Not bad, not not great, just somewhere in the middle. Until next time, then. See ya. It's an easy question. Are you a man? Or are you a mouse?